Next up on WTV. Today's Sports Minute, this week's edition of Real Talk, and a preview of today's Red Hawk romance. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Friday, February 9th, and I'm Kennedy Williams with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Part of the school's orchestra, junior Megan Lynn is used to playing in front of an audience, but tonight she'll be playing with professionals. Since she was four, Megan Lynn has been practicing violin in order to pursue her interest in music. Lynn will be playing with the Louisville Symphony tonight at the Medical City Grand Theater in Louisville. I've been playing violin since I was, since I was four. A couple of weeks ago, um, I played in a competition and um, the Louisville Lake Young Artist Competition, and they gave me the grand prize. And then with the grand prize, I was with the opportunity to play with them. The program for that night is they're playing a Haydn drum roll symphony, and then I'm playing a solo. I'm playing Minowski Concerto Number One. I've had the piece for a while. I've been practicing it on and off for about a year. Orchestra teacher Julie Blackside would like to take credit for Lynn's achievements, but puts the success all on her. I think it's quite an honor. I, to my knowledge, this is the first time that a student at Liberty in the orchestra has played with a professional symphony. Um, we've had a student play with GDYO, we've had a student play with the SMU University Orchestra, um, but to my knowledge this is the first time a student has won a competition to perform with a major symphony. Um, I'm incredibly happy for her. To say I would be proud would imply that I had something to do with it and I have no in no way anything to do with her success, but I am thrilled for her and for this opportunity to showcase such a great musician. She does it all by herself. Um, sometimes when she would audition for Allstate, I would listen to her um, prepare those excerpts, but this is all Megan. I have nothing to do with her talent. <laughs> I just get to reap the benefits of her being an orchestra. That's the lucky thing for us. Tonight's performance begins at 7.30 with a solo expected from Lynn as well as her incorporation into multiple pieces. Reporting from WTV, this is Walker Shippey. There are many clubs that center around making a difference, but one club in particular has been more than generous. WTV's Melody Akbari has the story. The Junior World's Affair Council is an organization that prides itself on the charitable acts they do in order to raise awareness of the world's dilemmas. What we do is we kind of um, like to raise awareness of issues locally, globally, and nationally. So we'll definitely do a lot of things charity-based and things that um, raise awareness for students in the school because we kind of live in a bubble. So it's really good if um, students can you know, be a little more aware of what's going on outside. Every year they hold the Pledge Against Poverty where they carry buckets of water around the track in order to get pledges that are loaned to entrepreneurs in poverty. So far, they're in the top 1% of all lenders, have loaned a total of $10,825, and have made 246 loans to individuals in 65 countries. JWAC has also helped provide the funds to send two Guatemalan girls to school by making and selling candy grams. So far this year, they have managed to raise about $1,100 to help their causes. Personally, I think that it's, it's good for the kids to, to want to do more. Um, in the world, there's lots of you know, problems and suffering and, and if the kids want to help out someone else outside of themselves or their classmates or their family, I think it's great. I mean, yeah, it takes a, long, a lot of effort and they might not get anything to show for it except for just helping these kids. Reporting for Wingspan TV, I'm Melody Ekbari. Both basketball and soccer teams continue district play and wrestling competes in the District 8 4A tournament. Here's today's Sports Minute. Boys basketball faces off against Wakeland at Wakeland tonight in their second to last District 13 5A matchup. With a win in this game, the Red Hawks will clinch the first place spot in district, currently sitting at 11 and 1, looking to stretch their win streak to 12 games. The team won its first matchup versus Wakeland by a score of 10 points. They will need strong play from senior Zach Watson, recent member of the 1,000 points club, and the Red Hawks will need to limit the Wolverines' leading scorer Mason Dukes to a slim amount of points to lead to a win. The game will begin at 7:15 tonight. Both soccer teams are also in action tonight as they both face off against the school down the street. 
For the guys, they've started off the season 1-2-2, two, and two, holding on to the 5th place in district, just out of the playoff spot, after a loss to Lakeland last Tuesday. On the other hand, the girls will play Centennial at home tonight as well. The boys' game will begin at 7.30, while the girls start at 7. Wrestling hits the mats in district tournament at Prosper High School. The winners of this tournament will move on to the regional tournament next Friday. The tournament will begin at 5 tonight, and competition will also resume Saturday. This is Davis O'Brien reporting for Wingspan TV. On this week's edition of Real Talk, WTV's Julia Savage hits the halls to ask students about 14 days of love. This is WTV's Julia Savage with this week's edition of Real Talk. And today we're going to hit the halls and ask students what they think of 14 days of love. So what do you think of 14 days of love? Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool because you actually like people around the school, like how, like how they feel about each other. And it's also kind of embarrassing because like, sometimes you ask questions and like they don't know how to answer them because they don't know the answers. And then what do you think about high school relationships? Honestly, it's just puppy love because like, like after college, you're not even going to know that person afterwards. So it's like. What do you think of high school relationships? Um, I think that high school relationships offer you a lot of valuable lessons that you can learn throughout um, your entire life. Like, when you want to be with someone throughout your entire life, then you can, you can apply those lessons that you learn from other people and you know how to treat people better and how to be a better person overall. So since 14 Days of Love is going on and Valentine's Day is coming up, what do you think about 14 Days of Love so far? Um, I think it's interesting. It's a lot better than last year. And what do you think about high school relationships? Um, it depends on the person. Uh, most of them aren't really serious, but I guess if you find the right person, then they can be. This is WTV's Julia Savage. Today's featured couple on 14 Days of Love Red Hawk Romance are senior Cole Engelbrecht and junior Annabelle Razovich. Here's a look at what to expect. What do your friends think of each other? I love his friends. I love them. I literally love hanging out with them. They're so mean to each other and it just makes me laugh a lot. I don't know. What do you think of my friends? I don't know what your friends think of me. <laughs> okay, what do you think of my friends? Oh, they're fine. They're, they're good. Oh, they're fine. I like them. I like some, I like some more than others. I'll put that as that. So shady. Full 14 Days of Love Red Hawk Romance interviews are found exclusively online at libertywingspan.com in the multimedia tab. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. WTV's Neha Paramala brings you today's announcements. Carnations will be sold for $2 in all lunches this week. Wrestling competes in the District 8 4A tournament at Wakeland today and tomorrow. Boys basketball plays Wakeland at Wakeland tonight at 7.15. Girls soccer plays Centennial tonight at 7 at home. Boys soccer plays Centennial tonight at 7.30 at Centennial. 2018-19 ISM applications are available now and are posted around the school and on the door of room E106. Mention the Liberty Choir at Chick-fil-A on Monday, February 12th from 4 to 9 p.m. to benefit the Liberty Choir program. Next Tuesday's basketball game is poster night. All students are encouraged to bring posters promoting the school and their favorite players. The next Toastmasters meeting will be February 14th during advisory in room C-138. Cheer tryouts are March 8th. All applications must be submitted by March 5th. If you have any questions, contact Coach Stevens in room E-100. Students need to park in either the student parking lot or the band parking lot and not in any of the lots north of the school between the main building and the field house and tennis courts. In recognition of Black History Month, WTV will be taking a look at various contributions of black Americans throughout U.S. history. Madam C.J. Walker, born Sarah Breedlove, created specialized hair products for African American hair and was one of the first American women to become a self-made millionaire. That's it for today's Daily Update. This has been Kennedy Williams for Wingspan TV.